How to make a narcissist walk on eggshells. There is a way to make a narcissist walk on eggshells around you, to where they will then treat you with the kindness, fairness and the respect that you deserve, but it won't ever be real. It will always be fake. Because narcissists are two-faced. They have a dualistic nature. A contrast between two opposing and conflicting aspects. They're like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Sometimes they may act good and pure. But beneath that facade they are actually very rude, tasteless, indecent, offensive, distasteful and obnoxious. They are very cruel, evil, wicked people. It's just that when you first meet them, they are wearing a mask. They act friendly, pleasant and agreeable. But the more time you spend around them, the more comfortable they become until they gradually reveal how impossibly illogical, aggressive and impolite they really are. They become so different that you wonder how they could be the same person, but they do know exactly what they are doing. Which is how you may feel like you're the only one who sees the real them, because they wear the mask for everyone else. And many of these people may become their fly monkeys. They act on the narcissist's behalf. Because they may not be aware of what the narcissist is doing behind closed doors. Or they may have one of the cluster B personality disorders as well. And these types of people damage those who they need the most. But they do it in a skillful, underhanded way which demonstrates duplicity and deceitfulness. They mislead people through lies and trickery. They keep a code of silence to gain an advantage. They wear you down over a long period of time. They overcome you by persistence. They exhaust you through great strain and stress until you become weaker or less determined and you lose the urge to defend yourself because that is the only way that they can win. They have no true power of their own. They gain the advantage by stripping you of your power, by getting inside your head. Because the truth always wins. Regality wins every battle against everyone who challenges it and pretends it isn't true. Their denial carries no weight beyond their own perception. Whether they accept it or not, regality always wins. And this is why they have to get inside your head. Because you are the truth. There may be other people in their lives who they don't seem to do that with. But that's because they never get too close to those other people. They keep them at arm's length. So those other people never see who the narcissist really is. Which is how it's so easy for the narcissist to turn them against you. Either that, or they're equally as toxic. The narcissist has a trail of targets who they have discarded. They treat the closest people to them like garbage. People who ended up addicted to alcohol or substances in order to self-medicate. They prepare the conditions for occurrence of everyone's role. They make it possible for it to happen. It's premeditated. They precipitate the events. They send people suddenly into particular states or conditions and then they sit back and watch it all play out. Because they enjoy the thrill of this unrestricted freedom of their actions and decisions. They like being able to do whatever they want without being held accountable for it. It regulates our emotions, 
because it disconnects them from themselves. But it only works if they can maintain a code of silence and if they can keep their supply and aware of what is happening. Because otherwise, everything they're dishing out would come back at them and then their fun would be over. Which is why when you start to catch on to what they're doing, they react in such an extreme way. They smear you and enforce their fly monkeys. Because otherwise they know that if they were to be exposed and held accountable for the wrongdoing, their lives would be over. So that's why when the supply begins to wake up, it's like life or death to the narcissist. They're in a fight for their lives. Because their life is quite literally on the line. It's all or nothing at that point. All of their lies and secrets are about to be exposed. Which is why in this state they can often seem so impulsive or reckless to where they will throw anyone under the bus, even the closest people to them. They will even sabotage their own lives just to save their image, because that's really the only thing that matters to them. And that is why while everyone else comes and goes, and their lives get destroyed, the narcissist's false image is the one thing that remains intact, it's the one thing that remains unchanged throughout time. Their reputation remains unharmed, because they will do anything to protect it. They will sell their souls, they will be willing to do anything, no matter how wrong, in order to achieve that objective. But many of them may not feel like they're doing anything wrong. Because a huge aspect of their disorder is that they are convinced of their own perfection. So they don't believe they're hurting people. They alter regality and provide valid reasons for their behavior in order to cope with their overbearing shame. Which is why they're unable to take accountability for anything and instead they deny, blame shift, gaslight and project. They alter regality to fit the narrative of them being innocent in all situations. So if you confront them on their behavior, they will deny having any part in hurting you. They will start telling you what you did. And they will name traits that you have that are causing all of the problems, while not realizing that they are actually projecting their own traits onto you. And they may even tell you that what you're claiming never happened. Instead, they may have a completely different memory or understanding of past events, all while their super ego is constantly attacking them with criticisms and put downs, and is creating all of this chaos and drama inside their own heads. They distract themselves from this by offloading it onto you, which is how they have become masters at creating drama. And now they thrive in an atmosphere of drama and chaos. They are illusionists. They produce illusory effects. They do many things to take your attention away from their wrongdoings. They deflect from their lies. They keep you in a state of heightened alert to cause you stress so that you become weaker and easier to manipulate. And you may also become more agitated and develop a short fuse to where you may then react and then they will quickly retreat into victim mode and paint you as the villain. Which then garners them even more sympathy and support from their enablers and flying monkeys. But you know what they're really like. You know that they're cruel, mean and full of rage. You've learned this directly from your own personal observation and experience. Which was like touching a hot stove and realizing that it burns your skin. But then you may have also seen that they can be kind and polite. They can appear charming and likable. Which can keep you stuck in something that is harmful to you. Because it may make you question yourself even when you're not doing anything wrong because they're so kind to everyone else. They're kinder to strangers than they are to you. They're kinder to people who they don't even know. While you're trying to be intimately involved with them and you're giving to them. But they're kinder and more respectful to people who they don't even know. People who aren't doing anything for them. Which can make things very confusing. 
because then it makes you wonder who is the real them. But it's quite simple to identify who the narcissist really is by recognizing that people reveal their true selves when they are comfortable, when they are in a private or relaxed atmosphere and people are open or susceptible to them. Because then they feel like they can relax and be themselves. They can behave in an uninhibited way and express their thoughts or feelings without restraint, without worrying about what other people think. And they have found comfort and security in you. They have become closely connected to you, to where you now know them deeply. You know them in the most vulnerable and connecting way. Where they have become rageful, manipulative and controlling because they feel comfortable enough around you to reveal their true selves. While when they were acting likeable and charming, it's because they are uncomfortable. It's because they're walking on eggshells. They're being very careful not to offend or upset anyone, which is what they were doing with you when they were love bombing you. Because at that time they were experiencing discomfort. They weren't yet comfortable with you. So they were hoping that they were coming across in a pleasant and attractive way because they were not yet comfortable. And this is how you can make them walk in eggshells around you by getting them back into this place where they are not full of anger and rage. But it will be fake because they can only operate in extremes. They can only be rageful and mean while they are comfortable with you while other times they will be excessively charming and kind which may eventually cause you to distance yourself to where you are no longer close or affectionate with them and then you can begin to see things as an observer rather than someone who is actively participating which should make you realize that it has nothing to do with you so you can then bring them back to the place where they no longer feel comfortable with you so that they will no longer be rageful and mean and instead they will be kind and respectful and they will treat you fairly although it will still be manipulation but this time you will be aware of it and you won't let it affect you by remaining mentally and emotionally distant and by not being affectionate or getting too close to them because if there is intimacy there will be comfortability but from a distance you can return to the narcissist from the understanding that you are going to contain them to keep them walking on eggshells around you and that all begins with your boundaries because they will orbit around you and they will attempt to bring you into their orbit so that they can control you which is why you must maintain your distance from them and inform them that you will not tolerate their insults or disrespect you are dealing with a narcissist they will test your boundaries and when they do you must not pay any attention to it and you must immediately abandon them even if you're at an event and you've only been there a few minutes and someone there was irritable or bad tempered or they were critical or mocking you in an indirect or sarcastic way because they wanted to cause you to lose your dignity and the respect of other people You must reject and abandon them because by setting those boundaries you are showing them that you're not going to tolerate any disrespect. And narcissists do have the ability to be fake. They do have the ability to be excessively loving and kind. But you must also show a negative response to that. You must leave or you must tell them that you know they don't love you that you don't love them because that's not what it's about all you're expecting is for them to be kind and respectful and by doing that you are containing them you are showing them that you will not tolerate disrespect and that you will not respond to their manipulation narcissists have to entice people into participating in something either by love bombing or by being rageful and mean but you are showing them that you're not going to tolerate either of them. 
You're showing them that you will only be in their presence if they are kind and respectful, which will be fake, and it will make them uncomfortable. But they will only act this way if you threaten to leave them. But this is exactly where you should want them to be, rather than them constantly acting in extreme ways. It's more peaceful when they're just being kind, because there isn't going to be any close familiarity or friendship with these types of people. You're never going to feel comfortable around them. And they're never going to feel comfortable around you. Which is why you have to accept that the best you're going to get is a fake version of them. Where their mask is half on and they are kind of polite. Because there's not going to be anything more. But by containing them in this box that you have created for them. They will be kind, pleasant and respectful. And even though it is fake and superficial you will learn to accept it. Because at least then you will control the narrative. You will control whether you're there or not. Which causes them to have to be kind. Because you have these barriers surrounding you. Which will bring you peace. But they will test your boundaries. They will become mean and disrespectful. And they will attack your character. Or they may try to manipulate and charm you. But the moment they do that, you can reject and abandon them. The moment they try to love bomb you, you can reinforce your boundary. By telling them that's not what it's about or you can prepare to leave. You can remove yourself from the toxic situation. Because you're not there to be demeaned or love bombed. You're there to maintain a safe environment. Where you're not exposed to danger or risk and everyone can remain in a relatively peaceful state. You cannot control the narcissist. And by trying to control them, that will be narcissistic. Your goal should be to maintain your peace of mind. Where you are at ease and untroubled by worry. Because you are connected to your inner self. So you can experience a mental state of calmness and tranquility, a sense of peace and quiet that is free from disturbance, while maintaining your safety and the safety of the people around you, including the safety of the narcissist. Because otherwise you can end up engaging in reactive abuse, where you might eventually reach your breaking point and lash out at the narcissist in return, and then they will seek to punish you in retaliation, so they may suddenly become violent and destructive which is not what we want. Our goal is to make sure that everyone is safe and at peace. And the only way that can be possible is by containing the narcissist and by accepting their kindness and respect even though you know that it is fake. But it will have to be good enough if you choose to maintain any form of contact with them because that's the best that they can do. So there isn't another option. But it should be tolerable. As long as they are smiling and being pleasant. But if they're not, you must show the ability to make the decision quickly and effectively. To get out of the situation immediately because your goal should be to maintain your peace of mind with whoever you engage with. So let them be fake. If that's what they have to do in order to treat you with respect, let them wear their mask, because at least then they will be kind and respectful to you. Their behavior is not your problem. When they are rageful, demeaning and devaluing, it has nothing to do with you. It's who they naturally are. And when they're being excessively kind and love bombing, that's not your problem either. It's them trying to manipulate you. So your goal is to tell them that you're not there for any of that. You tell them to smile, no matter how fake it is. 
and you tell them to treat you with respect because that is the only way you can coexist. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate to paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on our website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.